Bo, you've got quite a day ahead of you. It must be quite special. Very special indeed. I mean, the, these assignments don't come along a lot. Along, come along a lot. Um, I don't judge very much these days. And uh, but when you get asked to judge the Hound Association in England, it, yeah, you accept. <laughs> We're talking today about a breed that's very close to your heart. Yeah. What about the history of the breed? Um, they bear quite a great resemblance to the greyhound. Is there a yes. link between the breeds? Well, uh, there have been greyhound whippet-like uh, sight hounds for thousands of years. The Romans had dogs that looked very much like they do today. So they were used for hunting hares. In fact, at, uh, in New York, I went to, I saw a museum there, an old bronze that's from BBC and it's fantastic. Could we step out of the show ring today? Of course, we don't know what size it was, if it was a greyhound or a whippet. Uh, the truth probably was that there always were dogs that were of different sizes, yes. and they were developed from them. Crossed with a little bit of terrier, maybe a little bit of Italian greyhound, and didn't start calling them whippets until they came to England, and the British really made it into a consistent, homogenous breed in the late 1800s. And there's something quite special seeing a whippet at full pace, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, uh, being a whippet owner and having had them for more than 50 years, I kind of take it for granted, but I'm reminded every time I have some friend or neighbor or something uh, see my dogs. I mean, the dogs lope around and everything, think they think it's very pretty, and then for whatever reason they take off, and it's more like a rocket, and people get really impressed. They are very, very fast. They did double suspension gallop. All the sightowns do it to a certain degree, but the whippets being so small and you can see everything so clearly because of their of the thin coat. They are built for speed and they must be allowed to run. Now, if you don't want to let them run, you probably shouldn't have whippets. <laughs> um, but away from the original purpose of, of running and hunting, what are they like at home as pets? Uh, the ideal pet, I th for, for me, obviously. I've often thought I should you know, broaden. I've had other breeds, but whippets suit me really well. They are wonderful. If they get uh, you know, 15 minutes of serious running and maybe a half an hour, an hour walk, they are happy to be on the couch all day and just you know, couldn't be sweeter, couldn't be easier. The ideal whipper temperament is very relaxed, civilized, sophisticated, late, you know, easy to get along with, very affectionate. And what about the standard? What is the ideal whippet? The ideal whippet, I think the difficulty in the breed is to combine the maximum amount of, of power with a maximum amount of elegance. And that's not, not easy to find the right balance. It's very easy to get a lot of elegance, very easy to get a lot of, of power, but getting the two in the same dog at the same time, that's not easy. And it is a British breed, mm -hmm. but across the world, where do you see the highest quality and the highest quantity? It depends on which standards you go by, unfortunately, <laughs> because uh, for whatever reason, the standards are developed differently in different parts of the world. Uh, the American Whippet Club was more or less owned by two crusty old women in the 1920s, 30s, and they changed. They simply felt they should change the standard to, fit, to suit their own dogs, so they did. As a result, the American side is a little more generous on size, they tend to be bigger. Uh, the American standard also emphasizes uh, the glamour points a lot more, which is, to my mind, is rather unfortunate because unless you have the, the correct body construction with a deep chest and good legs and bone and angulation, you don't really have a whippet. And I think the, the best dogs in America, the best dogs in England, fit any standard. And in the show ring, there's, there's quite a variety of colours. Does the standard mention anything about No, that? uh, that's a very important point that you in, you're in, in Great Britain and Europe uh, are far better at uh, listening to than the, the judges in America, many of the judges in America, I should say, and you should never ever penalise a whip for colour. Any advice for, for people looking for whippets? Mm, yes, I think the, you have to remember one very important thing, is that is having a whippet puppy for the first year, it would be more or less like having a squirrel loose in your house. <laughs> and people often don't, don't quite believe that such a little meek and mild animal can be as they climb the walls, they steal anything, they chew anything, they can do an amazing amount of destruction. But if you have patience and if you are firm and teach the dog what's what, by the time it's adult, it will, you will have a wonderful, easy companion for life. For further